Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, friends of our Lord Jesus. Let us pray in this Mass that we too, like them, may be true and faithful friends of the Lord. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the example of your saints may spur us on to a better life, so that we who celebrate the memory of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus may also imitate without ceasing their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, 
let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and His love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in Him and He in us, that He has given us of His Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent His Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in Him and He in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you, his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother Lazarus who had died. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. 
Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, for many years, on this day, the 29th of July, we celebrate the memorial only of St. Martha. But early this year, Pope Francis ordered that on this day, we should also celebrate the feast day of the siblings of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And so this is the first time that we are celebrating the feast day of these siblings, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, who are very dear to Jesus. Because Jesus, Martha, Mary and Lazarus are friends. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we realize that like us, Jesus also has friends. And by having friends, Jesus points to us the importance of friendship in our life. And from the friendship of Jesus, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, we could learn so many things about how it is to be a true friend. But one dominant lesson we could learn from their friendship is this, that true friendship is about desiring and seeking the good of the other. Ang tunay na pagkakaibigan ay yung minanais mo ang kabutihan, ang ikabubuti ng kaibigan mo. And this is very obvious in the friendship of Jesus, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. In our gospel today, Jesus desires what is good for Martha by inviting her to a deeper faith in Him. Jesus also desires what is good for Mary by teaching her because Mary is always ready to listen to Jesus. Jesus also desires what is good for Lazarus. That is why Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. Sa pagkakaibigan ni Jesus kay Martha, Maria, at Lazaro, ibinigay niya sa kanila ang makabubuti para sa kanila. But it was not only Jesus who desired what is good for his friends. Martha, Mary, and Lazarus also sought what is good for Jesus. That is why Martha welcomed Jesus, served Jesus. Martha became busy with the details of hospitality when Jesus visited their home. That is why Mary was ready to listen to Jesus, to pay attention to Jesus, because for Mary, that is giving what is good for Jesus. 
And Lazarus gave what is good for Jesus by responding to his call to come out of the grave. My dear brothers and sisters, that is what friendship is all about. True friendship is desiring what is good for others. People who claim to be your friends but lead you to harm are not true friends. People who call you friends but lead you to do what is wrong are not your true friends because true friends will never harm each other. Ang magkakaibigan na tunay, hindi ipinapahamak ang isa't isa. Ang tunay na magkakaibigan, hindi sinisiraan, hindi ibinabagsak ang isa't isa. Ang tunay na magkakaibigan, ang ninanais lamang ay ang ikabubuti ng bawat isa. That is what we see in the friendship of Jesus, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. The good news, my dear brothers and sisters, is this, that we are also friends of Jesus. Katulad ng pakikipagkaibigan ni Jesus, kay Barta, Maria, at Lazaro, tayo din ay itinuturing ni Jesus bilang kanyang mga kaibigan. At ninanais din ni Jesus ang makabubuti para sa atin. That is why St. John in our first reading today tells us that God sent His Son into the world so that we may have life in Him. By giving us life, by sharing with us His life, Jesus desires what is good for us. Jesus gives what is good for us, His friends. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be faithful friends of Jesus. And let us also be true friends to one another. Please stand. On this feast day of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, let us remember those persons who serve us daily and those who treat us as friends. Let us ask God to grant them the blessings and graces they deserve. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work in the service of the church may truly become contemplatives in action. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That public servants may perform their duties in the spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Martha, may we be willing and generous in bringing joy and comfort to those entrusted to our care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the sick and the aged may find care and support from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the faithful departed who served in this life may reap the fruits of their labors in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers as well as the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord Jesus, 
As you entered the home of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, may you also enter the home of our hearts and dwell there in friendship and in love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in your saints, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as their homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to remind you again that beginning Sunday, the 1st of August, we shall implement here in the Manila Cathedral the use of the Stay Safe application for those who will attend Mass here at the Manila Cathedral. There are steps to be followed in order for you to generate your own personal QR code which will be scanned every time you enter the Manila Cathedral. May we ask you to visit our Facebook page so that you may be able to see the steps kung paano po yung gagawin natin para tayo magkaroon ng ating QR code na siyang gagamitin natin palagi sa pagpasok natin sa at pagsisimba sa Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.